It's fascinating how people send me things in Red Dead Redemption 2 that I have never found on my own. This is one such example. I was contacted on Facebook by a viewer called Sean. I won't disclose her full name because I don't really want to leak anyone's private Facebook. But I was sent a location in which I could find a dead man at a camp and I thought this would be interesting because it's slightly different and has a bit of a story to it. And I always love showing off those unique little details that nobody would find, probably speaking, but they're there to be found. So why don't I stop rambling and we actually take a look at this dead man. There's a lot of those in this game, but this one's unique, I promise. So you want to be heading to just between the two L's in the word armadillo on the map which is just a bit east of armadillo so if you don't know where armadillo is it is in new austin but if you didn't know that then there's no hope is there anyways as you approach this spot you will notice on your map that there is a little black cross which means that there is a presence of a corpse as you get closer you will notice a tent a worn tent that looks like the weather's kind of got the better of it and right by the tent is the curled up corpse of a man who is clearly not a local and by his body you can see a hat as well yes you can pick it up this is a Chinese skull cap. Kind of suits us, if I'm honest. And the Chinese skull cap, or the six tile cap, was popular in the Qing Dynasty, or however you pronounce that word, from AD 1644 to 1911. And it was a casual cap that essentially anybody could wear. So it doesn't indicate any social status of our deceased friend here, but it does indicate where he's from, which is China. Considering how his corpse is positioned, I'd say that he likely died from starvation or dehydration. Dehydration would make sense because he's in the desert, but starvation might not immediately make sense because Armadillo's right next to the camp. That being said, an obvious outsider finding somebody to serve him in a backwater town in the old west might be easier said than done because believe it or not this is not a time period known for its forward thinking views and at the same time this town is currently suffering with a plague cholera so maybe this man steered clear for that reason or maybe he got cholera and died from dehydration through that either way i have no doubt that armadillo would have been much less than helpful with regards to this guy's survival either out of no desire to help due to backwards thinking views or through the inability to help because everybody's dying and there's only one trader left and that's herbert moon a man so hateful and spiteful that he probably would have denied custom to a lot of people mostly through his prejudices that being said if you move him you can see that he does appear to have visible wounds on his body maybe he died from those however they could just be caused by the vultures that come down to scavenge his flesh i think we can conclude though that however this man died it was definitely very painful anyways how he died is trivial you're probably wondering how did a Chinese man even get here to begin with? Because I'd imagine there is a reason as to why he's here. If you loot his body, you will find a letter. A letter titled, Letter to Show Yi from Show Wei. I do apologise if I've butchered that pronunciation, but YouTube is blocked in China, so I doubt I have any actual backlash to worry about. A letter from a proud uncle. Do you mind? A letter from a proud uncle in China. So, Cho Wei is Cho Yi's uncle, and this dead man is Cho Yi, presumably. Now, I'm not sure if this is Mandarin or Cantonese because I'm not an expert. However, if you press read, the letter does get translated. The letter reads as follows Dear Cho Yi, I appreciate your efforts to search for your cousin, Cho Ming, in America. As your uncle, I am eternally in your gratitude. My son has always been a romantic, frivolous boy and this journey to America is just another of his romantic dreams. As if a son born to the greatness of our family could ever find satisfaction building such an uncivilized nation as America, or in marrying such a woman as Jeruro. I am googling how to pronounce these words by the way. Even if I am wrong, please appreciate the effort. She is little more than a sorceress who has imprisoned his heart and encouraged him to betray his family. His desire to prove himself independent of his family's responsibilities here in Shanghai and in Hong Kong is neither admirable nor honourable. And I am forever grateful that you, as a member of his generation, do not share such foolish ideas. Good luck in America, your uncle, Show Wei. Now America is a big place, so I have no idea how far this man expected to get, but I'd imagine that Cho Yi would have had some rough idea as to where to search for his cousin. Now funnily enough, there is a character in Grand Theft Auto called Cho Ming, and he was the secondary antagonist in Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. But this character was born in 1970, and the mentioned Cho Ming exists way before that. However, this is more than likely a reference to the stranger mission in Red Dead Redemption, Love is the Opiate in which there is a minor character called Cho who is a romantic Chinese slaughterhouse worker with some unfortunate habits, who also happens to be a Chinese immigrant from Shanghai. You alright, friend? I guess. I'm still alive. <laughs> Cheery kind of fella, ain't you? 
Haven't got much to be cheerful about. I don't guess I have neither. I came here to make my fortune. I got a job so I could marry my beloved. She says she is still waiting for me, but I will never get out from here. I will never see Shanghai again. I'll live and die in the dust. How come? I'm indentured. We all are. We're little more than slaves. Slaves? They ain't slaves, gringo. Not slaves at all. They just have to do a month's work to get a month's pay. Don't you, Zhao? Now this guy pronounces his name Zhao, so I'm honestly not sure where the pronunciation is. Google leading me astray on these ones. Either way, maybe I should try to be clever less often. But again, the details line up. He's gone to America to seek his fortune so he can marry the woman that he loves. Anyways, you can actually free this man as that's what the stranger mission is about. Well, Zhao, looks like you are a free man. I cannot thank you enough, sir. I am going home to my beloved. However, this is the encounter after this one. Hey, mister. What are you doing here? Hello, friend. What are you doing here? You left El Matadero ages ago. Well, I... I missed the train. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I'm leaving. Tomorrow, honestly. Don't you have a beloved? She says she would wait. Honestly, I... I... I quitting tomorrow. And I'm leaving. Now, what do you mean quitting? I didn't say that. I... I'm fine. I'm fine. She's my beloved. And... I love it. Back to the events of Red Dead Redemption 2, is this his cousin looking for him a few years before this encounter? It all seems to line up well enough. Family from Shanghai. His name's Cho or Zhao or however you pronounce that. F and he's working in North America, more accurately Mexico, in order to seek his fortune so he can marry his beloved. So that explains why this man came to America and also goes to show the extent of detail the Rockstar Games put into this masterpiece. So I guess that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point. Thank you.